feliz Haciendo música del cielo Cantaré feliz Gozoso porque escuchas a mi voz Clamar y alabarte Cristo Cantaré feliz Haciendo música del cielo
sell it. Tiffany's got it. Fred Holmes. Adrian, sorry, forgive me. Adrian. Okay, I need the word for um fall. The season fall. Antonio. Okay, Team Slaughter gets a point. Okay, I need the word for brown. Brown. Uh, oh, I'd say she's got it. Adrian. So Adrian's got it. Close score here. 2-2. Two, two. Last word for these two. Okay, next word is the word for uh, to wear or to take out. To wear. What's the verb to wear? To wear? Uh-huh. Where? Uh-huh. Where is the word? Uh -huh. <laughs> No comments from the gallery. No? That's not it? No, that's not it. So I'm going to stop you. I don't know. What was the answer, ladies? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next two. Next two. Okay, I want the word that I love or want. The verb to love. She's got it. Tiffany's got it. Go ahead and put a point. Okay? Remember, can or can it can be want or love. Okay, this next word is um, potatoes. Potatoes. I'd say that's a tie. So you can both put a score down. Tie. Patata. Remember, some countries say papas. Okay? Okay, next word um, is the question is to go shopping. What word, what word or phrase means to go shopping? She's got it. Tiffany's got it. Ir de compras. Okay? Okay, next word. Actually, let me scroll. Let's scroll. Let's give me a few more options. Okay, uh, next word is the word for uh, the place you buy tickets for at a cinema. What is the place? Ventania. Tiffany again. Okay. Okay, next word. What is the word for socks? Socks. Socks. Wait, it's got No, that's a shirt. Calcitinus is correct. But because it was your second choice, I'm not going to give you points. Last word. Last word. What is the word to say mm, that you can do something? I can do something. It's a verb to, can, to that I can. Ability. The ability I can. Pull there. Bien. Tiffany screams on this one. Okay, next up, next up. Okay, I need the word orange. Uh, Michelle is correct, is anaranjada. Which Michelle? This Michelle. <laughs> Michelle Michelita. So, Michelita, would you give a bark? Sorry, I didn't realize that. I, I forgot I had two Michelles here. Okay, next word. Uh, I have the word for to think, the verb to think. Actually, it's pensar, not prefiera. What's up? You started with the one below. Okay? Um, I'll cancel that. We won't give anybody a point on that because she was after that. Okay, next one. Shadow points and <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, let's try the next one. How about the word for um, cake? What is the word for cake? Pastel. I would say that's equal. Okay, what is the word for... Go ahead, you both, did you mark, mark? What is the word for to walk or to go by foot? A pie, bien. All right, one more for you ladies. What is the word that means ugly? Ooh, and Michelle Grande gets it, feo. Okay, thank you. Okay, and have a seat. Let's go with our next round, next people up. 13. G20. And then you can keep the tally marks going. So 20, and we'll have them do it over here. So they can just tally from this point on. Okay, so here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to give you a verb. Okay, so right now, can I get books closed so that there's no helps? So let's just say, for instance, okay, I say the verb correr. Your job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one person from one team here, one person here, okay? I call these T-races. I used to do these in math, so we have math facts, and we 
and you've raised. The only thing is this is more than a T, okay? This is now a verb conjugation. So the idea is first you have to write the verb, and then you write to run. So you have to translate it. So your first step is to write what I say and write to run. Then you need to go ahead and go ahead and conjugate each one. When you're done, you turn your back. If you get them all right, you've got six points. Okay? If you get one wrong, then you get how many points of the ones you get right? You can't look at the part next to you, no comments from the gallery. Okay? So the boy, listen again. So actually, let's make it seven. So, no, eight. So you gotta spell this right, you gotta translate it, that's equal to a point, and then each of these are worth a point. So eight points total. Okay? So again, you can get all eight points, or you can get partial points. So you may forget what the word means, that only loses one point. You get time? Uh, no, but you're competing against each other. Can you see no, you don't, because you're busy right here, you're right here, and you're not looking at so no. Nope. And if you cheat, then all of a sudden I'll just give you zero. So let's not cheat. Yeah, we don't want to cheat, do we? <laughs> let's not cheat. All right, so um, oh, yeah. let's do this. Um, can I give you a number? One, two, three. One, two, three. So uh, don't tell me your number, because I don't, the whole point is I don't want to know. So can I get twos to go up? Twos. Hold twos up. So I'm going to give you a verb, you have to write it, translate it, and then go. Okay, are you ready? All right, the verb is hablar. Hablar. Don't look at the other person's stuff. Spelled correctly, you 
cut the Z, okay? Remember, we have to do a step change, so we switch I to E, so pienso, I pienses, piensa, piensamos, piensis, piensan. Okay, so just one miss, okay? So you've got one, two, three, A, I, A, M, A, S. Oh, all right, yes, yes. The A, R, O, right. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six over here. Go ahead, you can write that in. Okay, no, because she's missing this one. This you didn't have to, I gave her the answer to think. Remember? Okay, so you spelled wrong, which gave you, but you got, again, O, E, S, but this should be A, S, exactly. Um, I'll give you one. Okay, next up, let's go with, um, what was that number? You guys were one and three? One, oh, one and two. So let's go with two and one over here. Two on the side, one over there. Two on the side, one on the other side. Do I need some marker? 